Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Cars are not a good investment. In fact, they are actually really bad investments as they depreciate a lot in the first few years unless they are some rare collectible or classic cars. But regardless of that, many of us really require a car for their day-to-day -day needs or you might also be a petrol head like me who can't even think of living without cars. So let's take a look at some cars that we can look at in the used car market which would make a lower hole in our wallet. Before that, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and a sub would be amazing. All the values and assumptions are made by referring to usedfirst.com. I'm not an expert in this field so take this list with a pinch of salt. We'll be categorizing these as family sedan, truck, performance car, luxury car, SUV and supercar. Family sedan 2016 Toyota Camry The Toyota Camry received an update for the 2016 model year. A 2.5 litre 4 cylinder with a 6 speed automatic was standard. The base model depending on the market came with a manual AC, 6 speaker CD MP3 touchscreen stereo with USB port, keyless entry, power windows and mirrors, fabric seats, rear parking sensors, ABS with EBD and two airbags. The mid-range model also got fake wood trim, dual zone auto AC, auto dimming mirror, cruise control, Bluetooth, audio jack, scuff plates with illumination, rear camera, powered seats, 17 inch alloys, door mirrors with turn indicators, front fog lamps and a sport front bumper, sport grille, rear boot spoiler and dual exhaust tips. Also available was an optional plus package which got stability control, sunroof, DVD, keyless start and navigation. The top spec sport model got a unique rear bumper, paddle shifters, stability control, leather seats, 17 inch alloys and a fake metal cabin trim, intelligent keyless entry with starter button and DVD navigation. A new XSE version was also introduced which got a more aggressive look and could also be had with an optional dual exhaust system. In terms of safety, all models got dual front airbags and ABS but only some of the top trim levels got side airbags and stability control. On average, expect to pay only 60% of the original cost with 67% of the vehicle's lifetime remaining for a 2016 Camry Hybrid. That gives it a net used value score of 6.86 by usedfirst.com which factors in annual maintenance costs, price decline, reliable years left and available inventory. Also consider the 2018 and 2015 Camry Hybrid model years. Those currently have a generally a low risk of any significant depreciation over the next several years. Basically any Toyota cars can be included in the list as they are known for their reliability. Next we are looking at trucks. Honorable mention can be given to Toyota Tacoma. It is not added to the list because I don't want to add another Toyota to the list because it just make it redundant. So let's continue with the list. 2017 to 2019 GMC Sierra 1500 An all new GMC Sierra was released as of 2014 model year and received a facelift in 2016. Exterior wise, the styling carries pretty much the same DNA as the previous model but the new front fascia seems more imposing. That is because they have added bigger headlights and a huge grille. A Z71 package was available which included stronger shocks, front toe hooks and extra underbody protection. An all-terrain model was also introduced in 2017 with roll bars on the bed and losing the aerodynamic lip on the front bumper. The interior is where the main change was, with the new 4.2 inch display on the dashboard. More soft touch material was added around the cockpit. The new Sierra pickups had 12 volt outlets, 5 USB ports and an SD card slot. A 4.3 litre V6 engine was also added to the family of 5.3 litre and 6.2 litre V8 motors. They are all mated to a 6 speed automatic. For improving fuel economy, the V8 engines have cylinder deactivation and direct injection. The 2019 GMC Sierra 1500 model year is currently the best value. On average, expect to pay only 81% of the original cost with 92% of the vehicle's lifetime remaining for a 2019 Sierra 1500. That gives it a net used value score of 10.58 by usedfirst.com which factors in annual maintenance costs, price decline, reliable years left and available inventory. Also consider the 2018 and 2017 Sierra 1500 model years. Those currently have a generally low risk of any significant depreciation over the next several years. Performance Vehicle Honorable mention BMW M5. It is an amazing car that brought various new features to the market and has amazing performance. But there is more worthy opponent and hence didn't make the cut. 2015 Porsche 911. The Porsche 911 is one of the greatest cars of all times and it is virtually problem free and indestructible. As a result it holds its value terrifically. 
it's one of the few cars out there that if you buy the right one you may actually make money on it despite the more expensive ones now fetching close to $200,000 the brand and the model have some die hard followers and that keeps the pre-owned market strong if you're looking for a high performance speedster that has room for you and just one more it's a keeper bonus it doesn't take up much space in the garage it is still a 2 plus 2 seater coupe in 2016 the 911 got turbocharged engines and minor exterior updates The base 911 Carrera is offered with a 3-liter turbocharged flat-6 engine mated to either a world first 7-speed manual or the 7-speed PDK dual clutch automatic and rear wheel drive. The rear wheel drive 911 Carrera S gets the same engine specs but with more power. A new Carrera T model was also introduced for 2018 featuring lighter weight and standard adaptive suspension. As usual everything is optional beyond the basic power accessories that screen multimedia screen Bluetooth, basic keyless entry, HID headlights, electric parking, brake and 19 inch wheels. Available options include different colors and materials for every interior surface, different 20 inch wheel designs, metallic paint choices, power adjustable or sport seats, Bose or Burmester audio systems with optional voice control and TV tuner, CD changer, parking sensors, smart keyless entry and start, adaptive headlights, sunroof, electric folding mirrors, rear wiper, body kit and more. Standard safety features include front and side airbags, stability control and ABS. The 2016 Carrera S and Carrera T model also have the option of all-wheel steer. The 2018 model is currently the best value. On average, expect to pay only 74% of the original cost with 83% of the vehicle's lifetime remaining for a 2018 911. That gives it a net used value score of 9.58 by usedfirst.com, which factors in annual maintenance costs, price decline, reliable years left and available inventory. Also consider the 2019 and 2015 911 model years. Those currently have a generally low risk of any significant depreciation over the next several years. SUV 2019 Jeep Wrangler. The Jeep Wrangler is one of the best vehicles for maintaining its value at the 5 year mark. For you for a used vehicle, it's downright impressive in how it's been able to hold its resale value. People buy Wranglers because they just love the vehicle. How much sweeter is it that you can drive it for years and still get a decent return on your investment years down the road? It was available with upgraded version of FCS 3.6 liter V6 with 280 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque or an optional 270 horsepower 295 pound feet of torque 2 liter 4 cylinder engine with a mild hybrid stop start system. A 3 liter V6 turbo diesel was also introduced. The V6 is available with much improved 6-speed manual or an 8-speed auto that demonstrates what an utter relic the outgoing JK's auto really is. For those who don't know, JK was the previous model name and JL is the current model name. The 4-cylinder petrol and diesel Wranglers came with the auto only. It might have a slight longer wheelbase and a more sophisticated chassis, but the basic form of the Wrangler is the same as ever. On the road, that translates to a choppy ride and cornering that isn't really something you'd do just for fun. The new electro hydraulic steering takes a lot of the slope out of the system. But it's still a light year away from anything you'd call good on anything other than on a Wrangler. If you'd like to go off road often, it's a no brainer. The 2019 Wrangler model year is currently the best value. On average, expect to pay only 80% of the original cost with 92% of the vehicle's lifetime remaining for a 2019 Wrangler. That gives it a net used value score of 12 by usedfirst.com which factors in annual maintenance cost price decline reliable years left and available inventory also consider the 2018 and 2017 Wrangler model years those currently have a generally lower risk of any significant depreciation over the next several years luxury car 2019 Lexus RX 350 the Lexus RX 350 is the number one luxury car when it comes to maintaining value and it continues to do so year after year If this is anywhere near the type of vehicle you need, don't hesitate, as these just don't disappoint. Buy a new one now and buy another new one in 4 years. It's hard to go wrong. This generation of the Lexus RX debuted back in 2016. Under the hood, the RX 350 gets the 3.5 liter V6 with VVTi variable valve timing mated to an 8-speed automatic and an all-wheel drive platform. However, there is also an F Sport model which gets a body kit. The RX 450h gets a similar 3.5 liter V6 engine combined to three electric motors. The basic model includes front side airbags, curtain and knee airbags, rear side airbags, cruise control, CD changer with nine speakers, powered front seats, wood trim, fabric seats, smart entry and start system, ABS, stability control, 18 inch alloy wheels, front and rear parking sensors and HID headlights. The mid-range model adds Mark Levinson audio with 15 speakers, DVD changer, Bluetooth 
ഹെഡ്സ് അപ്പ് ഡിസ്പ്ലേ റിയർ എൻ്റർടൈൻമെൻറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം നാവിഗേഷൻ സിസ്റ്റം റിയർ ക്യാമറ ലെതർ സീറ്റ്സ് വെഹിക്കിൾ ഡൈനാമിക്സ് ഇൻ്റഗ്രേറ്റഡ് മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് ട്വൻറ്റി ഇഞ്ച് അലോയ് വീൽസ് സൺ റൂഫ് അഡാപ്റ്റീവ് ഹെഡ് ലൈറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഹിൽ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് അസിസ്റ്റ് ദ ടോപ്പ് മോഡൽ ആഡ്സ് ബെറ്റർ ലെതർ പനോർമിക് സൺ റൂഫ് ആൻഡ് പ്രീ ക്രാഷ് സേഫ്റ്റി സിസ്റ്റം The optional vehicle dynamics integrated management is a system that coordinates with the stability control system with active tow control to offer better handling in emergency situations. The 2019 Lexus RX 350 model year is currently the best value. On average, expect to pay only 81% of the original cost with 92% of the vehicle's lifetime remaining for a 2019 RX 350. That gives it a net used value score of 11.06 by usedfirst.com which factors in annual maintenance cost, price decline, reliable years left and available inventory. Also consider the 2018 and 2017 RX 350 model years. Those currently have a generally lower risk of any significant depreciation over the next several years. Basically any Lexus cars can also be included in this list as they are also known for their reliability. Supercar. Honorable mention Chevrolet Corvette. This is also an amazing car but it couldn't make the cut. 2018 Audi R8. Most people including non petrol heads love R8. It has been the dream car of many people since its inception in 2006. The second generation Audi R8 came out in 2016. Under the hood there is no more a V8 engine option but V10 is still available which has been reworked for better performance. It has also been managed to reduce 200 kg by using more carbon fiber and aluminum for the body. In 2019 it got a facelift and slight power bump. Other mechanical changes include the choice of Michelin Pilot Sport Cup tires, larger carbon ceramic brakes and a new steering rack system for a more direct response. The power is delivered through a 7-speed Astronic sequential manual gearbox that uses the same transmission and clutch but operates the clutch and changes gears automatically. The cabin is outfitted to luxury standards with leather upholstery, power features and decent space. Luggage compartments are in the front and in the back. Safety features include the usual airbags and electronic nannies. The 2018 Audi R8 model year is currently the best value. On average, expect to pay only 70% of the original cost with 83% of the vehicle's lifetime remaining for the 2018 R8. That gives it a net used value score of 13.83 by usedfirst.com, which factors in annual maintenance costs, price decline, reliable years left and available inventory. Also consider the 2019 and 2017 R8 model years. those currently have a generally low risk of any significant depreciation over the next several years if you've enjoyed this video i'll be doing a whole lot more videos like this in the future so leave a thumbs up and a sub would be amazing also leave your thoughts down in the comment section my name is jitin and i'll catch you in the next one